Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another day on MJC Belongs. It is a beautiful day out today. I don't think there's rain in the forecast at all later on. The clouds are very, there we go. The clouds are very few in the sky. The sun is shining. Just absolutely amazing out here today. Currently working on the vlog inside right now. I gotta do the thumbnail and get that all uploaded and everything. Hopefully not make the same mistake as yesterday and actually schedule it to go live at the correct time that it's supposed to, which is 6 p.m. every single day. Still gotta work on the postcards, gonna take care of that in a few minutes as well. I completely missed getting them out today because the mail has already come. The mailman around here comes like 11, 12 o'clock, so it's like I have to get them done today and put them in the mailbox tonight or tomorrow morning when I get up so that way I know that they're gonna go out at least tomorrow also made a decision last night while I was editing the vlog I took a little bit of a break and made a decision on the tent so we're all set on that I found a really awesome tent it's not too big but it's the perfect size I can stand up in it so I'm not like crouched over like during the entire week or whatever and now that I got all of the tent situation figured out it's time to pick out the rest of the gear I haven't really decided on air mattresses I started looking at stuff last night I know my number one thing that I have to have with it it doesn't matter if it's like this huge air mattress or like a small one or whatever size it is the one importance is is the damn thing has to come with either a hand pump that I can use or a built-in like battery operated pump so that way I don't have to bring the electric pump that we have for the pool ring and try to find electricity out in the middle of a field during the week because that is going to be absolutely difficult I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna charge my phone and my camera batteries and my portable charging brick and most likely the only way I'm gonna do it is if when we go inside for like meals during the week I also found something for the inside of the tent as well as far as like a light because I wanted like a bright LED light in the tent Originally, one of the tents I was looking at had like LED lights built into the poles and everything, but I just said forget it on that tent because the tent was a little bit too big and excessive. But I found an LED light that you can hang from the tent, but it also has a fan on it in case it's like 95 degrees in the middle of the night while we're camping and it gets way too hot in that tent. So that way there'll be a fan that I can turn on and at least try to keep the inside of the tent cool. I got this style, you feel that soul, but still you play the radio. I changed my name two years ago, left that old sound, forward I go. So it's been a couple of hours since I last vlogged. I've literally just been sitting here writing card after card after card for the youth conference. As I talked about in yesterday's vlog, we're doing this because kids love to get mail, even though with all the technology. So I've just been writing all of these. I've got two more to go after this, and then I'll be done. And then I'm just gonna put these in a mailbox now so that way I don't forget to do it in the morning. Just wrapped up writing all of the cards. Got them all here. Address rest in envelopes gonna put them out in the mailbox now so I don't forget and that way if I decide to sleep till 12 o'clock so if the mailman comes tomorrow while I'm still sleeping I am able to make sure that the cards go out and they should be there in a couple of days and then I got to reach out to them and be like hey did you get the cards you got any more questions for me I really hope that all of those kids that I wrote to and that all the kids that all the other core team members are writing to or calling are coming to the conference because that would be really awesome to know you know you wrote them like a letter and they came to the conference because you know you wrote them or you called them and you made the effort to reach out to them basically and say hey why don't you come join us it's gonna be a really fun weekend time to sit down for dinner we got some egg noodles here with butter and parmesan cheese on them some wax beans right here and some pork chops as well this looks pretty damn good as always when can we meet cuz baby I've been trying to you on the move let's move to find some time to you know I love the view from right behind you but I can't wait to get caught up with you I'ma keep running till I'm all the way caught up with you I'ma keep chasing till I'm all the way caught up with you There ain't no waiting 
till I'm all the way caught up with you. I can't stay patient till I'm all the way caught up with you. Just wrapped up with dinner. That was pretty good. Getting ready right now to change and head outside. Gonna go in the pool. It's not absolutely hot outside. There's like a breeze and it's a little bit cooler. But the water to me doesn't seem too bad when I stick my hand in it. Plus the pool really needs to be cleaned out and the only way to clean it is to actually get into the pool physically and use the skimmer to do that. Plus I'm also gonna get a fire going. Gonna make some s'mores out there. Just gonna enjoy tonight. Today is actually the longest day of the year so I really want to take advantage of it and be outside the rest of the night until it's too dark or until it hits 10 o'clock and we really can't make any more noise. Probably about after 10-15 minutes finally got a fire going really struggled to get it going because of the wind it's not too bad right now but the wind was blowing a couple of minutes ago pretty bad so the fire wasn't catching but I think it finally is catching so we can only hope that it stays lit for the rest of the night. Wanted to get that going first before I got changed into my swimsuit gonna go inside and take care of that right now and then hop in here and clean all of this out like the ice. she thinks the water's ice but I mean I, I I don't care you get used to it real quick but this definitely needs to be cleaned out I went in the pool for a little while just went inside and grabbed all of the s'more stuff got to get some more wood on that fire because it's sort of dying out my dad had it going come on focus Fo really well my dad had it going pretty good a couple of minutes ago and I'm just trying to get it to catch again but gonna make some s'mores. The only thing I need to find are sticks or some type of metal rod that is clean enough that I can stick a marshmallow on it and roast the marshmallows without burning my hand on the fire. This is literally the best object I have right now to roast marshmallows with. In the past we would use knives, like butter knives, and those are too short. This is long enough that I won't burn myself. I just hope I don't catch the one on fire. We used to have like actual marshmallow roasting sticks that we bought from the store in a kit, and all of a sudden they just randomly disappeared, and I think someone threw them out and didn't really realize that, th that that's what those were for. I eventually want to get metal ones and not wood ones like we used to have and those will last longer and I don't think people will actually throw those out because they'll know what they're for. Sort of halfway through this s'more already but came out pretty good. Took maybe about a minute for me to roast the marshmallow on the fire but that little tool worked out perfect. I'm on a carpet. I feel like Aladdin. My girl is a rock. I call him my Jasmine. Okay, well, I'm sorry, I'm spazzing. While I'm at it, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. But I ain't for real. I'm taking the wheel. All of this traffic, watch how I pass it. I'm quarterback. I'm Jared Goff, and I share the profit with all of my partners. All of the nonsense, I'm about my business. And they burn the bridges. And when do I nobody visits? But I'm too busy just living the lesson. So just cleaned up everything and came back inside. It's after 10.30, so we stayed out there a lot longer. We just had to turn down the music and everything. It was just such a relaxing night outside that you really didn't want to come back in. This is the aftermath of the marshmallows on this. I gotta clean this up before this like hardens up on it and just ruins it because that worked out really well doing the marshmallows. But it was a good night. The fire was on and off and everything, but it's just so relaxing, as I said. Well, guys, I think I'm going to wrap today's vlog up right here. want to get down to editing this, get to bed at a decent time tonight, get up tomorrow and get some stuff done. I got a few things to do. Number one on my list is I want to start breaking up more firewood, obviously, because I was literally down to, like, my last bits of firewood. And then everything else that's in the pile right there is way too big to go in the fire pit. So I want to get that done. Plus, I got a busy day of work ahead of me tomorrow. We got three stores that have to be definitely done tomorrow. So... It's gonna be hectic. I didn't get to filming today, obviously, because I was writing all of those cards, and then dinner happened, and then I just wanted to enjoy the night and relax. So I'm hoping that tomorrow I have a little bit of time to set aside to film something quick. Even if I film like a quick video that I don't even really need to edit at all or add anything to that just goes up on the channel, I really don't wanna do that though, because I'd rather have, even for just an update video, an edited, really awesome video with like text on the screen and a few other things here and there, depending on what I feel is really necessary for the video. Also, while I was outside tonight and just sitting there relaxing, making s'mores in the pool and everything, minus the pool, I'm really hoping that the nights at Isaac Jogues are just like that. Just relaxing, sitting by a fire if we make one, just hanging out, making jokes, singing songs, get a little bit of filming each night and depending on what's happening. But, you know, just 
awesome nights and then during the day just a lot of great work and just hard labor to make sure that everything gets done and ready to go for the conference because that's really what Pure Disciple Week is all about plus all of the worship stuff which is the most important stuff obviously. Anyway guys that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video please remember to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to turn post notifications on down below so you never miss when I upload a new video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another brand new daily vlog. Remember to stay awesome, keep smiling, you're beautiful, and I love you guys so much. Peace out, YouTube. Also, remember the conference link, first link in the description. I think I'm falling for my side, yeah, yeah, falling for my side, yeah, yeah, falling for my side, yeah, yeah, falling for my side, falling for my side, chick. Now I really wanna kick it, I get it, but each time